Does your car look like this after you back into a parking space? <laughs> or do you have trouble getting out of the car because you parked too close to the car beside you? Today we're going to give you tips and strategies to park perfectly when you back into a parking space. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Welcome back, Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about reverse stall parking, also called perpendicular parking, bay parking. It's simply backing into a parking spot. And this is what you want to do as soon as you show up for your driver's test on road test day. You want to back into the parking space. That way you're going to be less nervous when you get started on your road test because you'll just drive out and then carry on and you'll be able to relax a little bit once you get comfortable with the examiner. I'll give you a couple of tips here in the in the studio and then we'll go out and jump in the car and we'll show you how to do it in a parking lot. So the first thing you want to do is angle park. So when you pull up here, you want to pull up and say you want to park in this parking space right here. So you want to be in the center of this parking space here. You want a 45 degree angle. It's approximately off the front of your vehicle. So the space next to the other one, you want to angle in so you are here when you start your reverse on an angle. So you're essentially here. You're essentially pointed into the space on the other side next to the one you want to back into and then you back in here. The reason that you're having biggest challenges of reverse stall parking and getting the, the vehicle into the space is because you're dealing with the two biggest blind areas on the vehicle. You're dealing with the blind area at the passenger side and you're dealing with the blind area out the rear out the back of the vehicle. Those are your two biggest blind areas. And when you're reverse stall parking, you're dealing with those two areas at the same time. The other tip that I give you is to always try and park off the driver's side because you're going to have a better line of sight off the driver's side than you are if you try and back in on the passenger side. The next type is perpendicular parking where you're setting up and then you're going to turn around the corner from perpendiculars. We're going to park in this space right here and you pull up until your vehicle is here, you are sitting here halfway at this position and some other instructors teach it so that it's three lines. So it's one, two, three, the front of the vehicle is here, but it's easier for you to be at the middle of this space. Put your signal on, 360 degree scan, check your backup camera if you have one, check your mirrors, and then back into the space. You're gonna turn your steering wheel all the way uh, to the left <laughs> and then back into the space and go slow. It's a little bit better that if you're sticking out here a little bit on the front, such as this, than it is to back up and strike this concrete barrier at the back. If you strike that concrete barrier, that's an automatic fail on a driver's test. So better to lose a couple of demerits. So that's essentially the theory behind it. We're gonna go jump in the car. First thing you wanna do when a reverse stall parking, go and get some of those 36 inch, one meter tall pylons. You can rent them from any industrial rental shop for about 15 bucks for the day for five or six of them and practice with those. That'll give you a good sense of where the blind area is on the passenger side and the reverse because as I said, that's your biggest challenge. Uh, if you bang into a cone, not a big deal. If you bang into somebody's car, uh, it's a big deal and then you gotta leave one of those fake notes. You know, so <laughs> people are thinking you're responsible. Next thing is put a piece of tape on the top of your steering wheel that will help you to keep track of where the steering wheel is and then you can focus on the other things and you can tell where your steering wheel is and when it's straight at a glance. Approaching the parking space, we're about three feet away. We're signaling that we're gonna park and we're gonna park there, one, two, three, here into reverse so people behind you know that you're parking. 360 degree scan, checking my mirrors, check your backup camera if you have one. Okay, looking where we wanna go and we're turning the steering wheel all the way to the left. And we simply back in. And again, checking there, checking our backup camera. And we see, you saw that we paused the vehicle when we're backing up. Now, we're straight, we can see forward, bring your steering wheel back to straight, tapes at the top. And we 360 degree scan, check your mirrors a bit sunny right here and then back up so the front of the vehicle is in line with the back of the vehicle and that's how you uh, perpendicular park into a parking space now we're going to go and do angle which is my preference I find it a bit easier and we'll do it off the pickup truck here and again about the space before halfway before 
right here and we're going to angle into that car the silver car over here because it's in the space next to us here so here we put our signal on straighten our wheel back out here okay we're behind the pickup truck all the way to the left put the car into reverse not in R for race <laughs> and again we're looking over this shoulder because we're backing up okay we're in line we can see the line back there and again we're backing up we're looking over here checking our mirror because there's a car over there we're backing in between two cars nice and easy we're not straight we can see the front of the car is pointed that way so we're going to bring our steering wheel to the right a little bit to bring the front of the vehicle to the left now we're straight we're backing up we're bringing again bringing the front end over a little bit and now because this pickup truck was sticking out a little bit we're backed in just a little bit farther into the space you notice that i parked in beside other vehicles if you try and park into an empty parking space you're going to find it really tough try and park off another vehicle if you are parking in empty spaces a lot go and get some of those little convex mirrors so that you can see the lines down on the road however you want to keep your vision up not down looking at the lines on the pavement so try and park beside another vehicle you just find that so much easier look down in the description there you can find a link for the convex mirrors over at amazon this will improve your overall driving make you a smarter safer driver and as well it'll prepare you for your driver's test for another video click here to subscribe click here and remember pick the best answer and necessarily the right answer have a great day bye now